The sport, if you can call it that, that's shaking homes to their foundations down from Attleway. Good evening. Thanks for your company. You said if it continues on the road on the South Perth foreshore, which is a lot better than being anywhere near the road and car park, which is the venue for a loud and illegal pastime that fires to life in the late night in South Fremantle. Young drivers with powerful worked cars spend their evening there smoking tyres and drag racing. Until now, authorities had claimed they'd stamped out the burnout sessions, but Hugh Watkin and his Steady Fair crew have discovered it's very much alive. And for hundreds of devotees, there's no bigger thrill. Every night at a dozen locations around Perth and Fremantle, hundreds of young people gather for what they describe as a bit of fun. Why is it fun? Because it is. You can't do it anywhere else, so you've got to do it somewhere. A lot of noise, a lot of smoke. No, it's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> smell of rubber. That's enjoyment. <laughs> That's enjoyment. Yeah, smell of rubber. Of course, what these kids are doing is illegal and every night the police do their best to stop it. But that's not easy. These kids are wise in the way of the street, and by the time the police arrive, the action is over. Well, temporarily at least. These cops come down and put liquors on cars when there's people out there robbing banks and murdering chicks and, you know, all the rest of that shit. I mean... <laughs> What's a lippy? A sticker. A yellow, yellow sticker. sticker. That's what you get most of all. Yeah, or a red. Just having big rims. So by the time you see the cops coming down that road there, you all pull back into your Yeah, everyone swapped their cars and drank their piss and hit their yeah, pot. <laughs> All these folks come down here for a bit of fun. I'm out of that stage, I've got four kids now. now uh, everyone complains about them doing it here. So why don't they all approach the council and ask the council if they can get a bit of land, even if they've got to lease it. You know, the amount of blokes that are, you know, want to spin their wheels up or do what they like, if they all dive in, you know, if the council wants, say, 100 bucks a week or something for a bit of land to race on, you know, give it to them. Yeah. They merely haven't seen this much fun in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Get much bigger than we've seen it tonight. Oh yeah, you get it always bigger. Looks like a lot of the blokes um, and girls mm. spend a bit of money on their vehicles. Oh yeah, everyone spends a few thousand on them. People get a bit carried away on them. You do anything else for fun? No, nah, that's really. I'll just come down here past time. That's about it. Hey, drop hole in the port. All these young blokes down here. Still strikes me like it might be a bit expensive on tyres. Oh, not really. <laughs> I really they just can't buy a set of retreads. That's all. So you put special tyres on for this event, do you? No, I really just go and put a set of stockies on it. Don't worry about the big tyres, just leave them for show. After a while, the thrill of burning rubber, like a few tyres, seemed to have worn thin. A few of the blokes thought that it might be time for a drag, and the best place for that was somewhere quiet. No, this thing doesn't go come forward. Right. Of course, racing on public roads is dangerous and someone may well soon be killed. But authorities don't look like putting a stop to it. Maybe they should set up some place where it can be done safely. Hugh Watkin with the Burnout Brigade. We'll take